Hi, Dr. Becker here. I've been performing rhinoplasty for over 20 years, and a lot of my patients ask what's changed in rhinoplasty during that time. I have these nasal diagrams that I think can illustrate one very important positive change. This diagram shows the nasal tip, and 20, 25 years ago, to refine the nasal tip, there was a school of thought that would uh, say to cut out, that the surgeon would cut out this much cartilage, leaving only a very thin strip of cartilage. That would give an early good result, but too often it would lead to pinching, uh, twisting, nasal blockage, a deformity that needed a revision. Um, I am very grateful that I was not part of that school of thought. Uh, my mentors taught me only to remove this very uh, small amount of cartilage, leaving most of it for support and strength and a long lasting result. There are about four or five other techniques that we use in addition to this minor resection of cartilage to achieve the result that we're looking for in a way that will last. This is also illustrated here. The uh, small amount of resection versus the old-fashioned resection uh, leaving only a thin strip. Over time, uh, more and more people have converted to this more conservative approach. Uh, and so that's been a really positive change in rhinoplasty.